Well, good morning, folks. Uh, we are in uh, Pennsylvania, Prince Galitzin State Park. Our trailhead's right in front of us. Last year, we were able to hike the deer trail. So, yep, that's where we are. Same parking lot as that. Uh, early morning, I gotta wait for the office to open up to get my reservation and then I've got a camp to set up and then we'll go from there but this trail is just under a mile long it's a loop trail so I'm going to tackle that today I already tackled one early, earlier so <laughs> I can't think of the name of it right now so it bombed. You're not missing much, but oh, I forgot what trail I'm on. <laughs> now, anyway, this splits off with the forest trail here. We're gonna go this way. I'm kind of wondering if this big storm came through this year earlier. There's a lot of downed trees. On the last trail I hiked earlier this morning, they had a lot of downed trees too. Coming up to a split here. Alright. Put print trail goes off that way, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna hang this way. Oh yeah, it loops around. That's right. Duh. Just told you it was a loop trail. Maybe it comes out there too. <laughs> They've been just now starting to loop. The maps are not up, not the scale. I'm kind of assuming at one point the trail went down that way. The sun's gonna peek out now. It's been cloudy all morning. It's not supposed to rain for another three days, so. Yeah, that was a trail at one time. It comes out right here. You can kind of see <laughs> where the blades used to be and where the trail used to be. And they closed it. That's what it used to be a blaze. That's what used to be the trail. Hm. You can actually still see the old... It was an old trail when there's marking trees. I think it continued on down through there too. Yeah, you can see where it went. I don't know if that was this trail with the same name or if that was a different, whole completely different trail. We will never know. <laughs> okay, I got a tree trying to escape over here. This is interesting too. Uh, this. Do you tell the trail used to go straight? But nope. It like jabs off this way. This looks like it's been abandoned too. Right, I go this way. 
The blazes around the trees, that's how we can tell. Just the process on why they rewrote the trail. And again, we're going to cross into that one. That was a straight shot here from up top. And why is that one abandoned? This one right here. You, you see the old old school stuff on it too. No, now it's no longer a trail. It's all abandoned. But it connects to this one. Yeah, it used to go down that way. This must have been a totally different trail. I just crisscrossed this one. As again, you can see all the blazes that were crossed off. One in the background too. So the trail used to go that way and then across here and then up in that way and up at the top where I first went. Oh, this looks like it used to be a trail. Because it was. <laughs> now then this trail has been here too, so. I mean, you can't do that anymore. That's a crime. <laughs> For those that are wondering. I'm trying to keep moving, there's so many biting flies flying around me right now. So if you keep hearing, that's me hitting myself in the face. <laughs> you might glimpse one doing that too, so. It must be getting close to some kind of body of water. It might turn out to be something. There's bugs I'm talking about, so I can't stand around too long. 
Oh, looks like we're heading back to the parking lot here. Yeah, so. Oops. Brings you right down to a perfect view. Get to see some of the tributaries, the, the lake. It's a nice place to that bench. I used to do that vertical climb. <sighs> yeah, if you can do this trail, bring bug spray. <laughs> I still got a beehive on my head. Well, it's like where we come back out to the trail. Yep. And back to fishing the loop. And here's where we are. Footprint trail. So, oh, hey. That's what it is. Don't matter which way you go. You probably want to go that way first because the downhill grade, or I mean the uphill grade. <laughs> It's quite significant. So now we just walk the rest of it back out to the parking lot. So, yeah. If you have bug spray in the time, you can probably get some nice photos of st stuff out on the water and stuff like that. So, it's worth it. The footprint trail at Prince Goodson State Park. It's just under a mile long. It's a loop trail and you know, hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. And thanks for watching.